Hello, my fellow parasites. Parasites? Apologize! No. Anyway, welcome to Season 4 of the Venom Vlog. This season we'll be covering Venom 2 movie news, more classic Venom and Carnage stories, the Spider-Man Maximum Venom animated series, and all comics involving Eugene Flash Thompson. So sit back and enjoy another exciting episode of The Venom Vlog. I'm Tom Hardy and you're watching The Venom Vlog. Oh man. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog, and today I actually want to focus on some merchandise that is about to come out and some that are coming out in a few months that are Venom related that a lot of you guys have been tweeting at me and sharing with me on Instagram, so I want to thank everyone for doing that. And I figured, yeah, now's a good time to kind of compile them all together. Uh, we have some Funko Pops, so we'll start there, and then we'll get into the big reveal that came out today, Monday, uh, July 6th, uh, from Hasbro. So we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the Funkos first, we had Pop in a Box uh, a couple months ago, actually back in, like, end of March, early April. They announced that they were going to make a, a Carla Unger version of Carnage, uh, which is a female Carnage who was Carnage for a very brief time in a comic book called Superior Carnage, which we haven't yet read yet. I haven't actually read that comic yet, um, but we're going to talk about that on next time we do a Carnage week, which I'll probably save for later because I only have enough Carnage books left to do one more Carnage week. I mean, we've pretty much covered most of Carnage, but we got to get through Minimum Carnage, Superior Carnage, and then the Carnage series that came out too. And there's a couple little one shots here and there that we'll sprinkle in, of course. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're kind of nearing the end of Carnage stuff. Uh, maybe we'll do like a revamp of the, the Red Goblin story at some point too. Uh, and then obviously new stuff by Donny Cates will come out. Maybe it'll have Carnage in it, so we'll see. But uh, but yeah, so we, yeah, we're, we're kind of nearing the end of, uh, of the past Carnage stories, and so we'll get to that. But yeah, Carla Unger, she was first announced as a Pop in the Box exclusive. I think she's exclusive. Maybe you can get her elsewhere. Uh, but uh, but I pre-ordered her on uh, you know Pop in the Box, and it's kind of upsetting because uh, you know I pre-ordered it in April, and the figure still isn't out yet. So I guess I pre-ordered it right on day one, maybe. And, uh, and, you know, usually I don't do stuff like that. So it's, it's annoying to wait for, you know, this long for it. But I think it comes out this month in July. So hopefully I'll be seeing that very soon. So, yeah, you can go. I'll put a link down below to pop in the box. You can pick up or pre-order, you know, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, you'll be able to get Carla Unger over at pop in the box. And then also they announced a Mayhem figure recently uh, that will be focused on the MC2 universe, the Mayday Parker universe, which I really, really love. And uh, although I've read, like, most of that run, like that universe... But then I think I dropped off towards like one of the reboots of it. So I don't know if I remember April Parker, which is Mayday's sister. I don't really remember that story too much, but I guess she got a symbiote at one point. And we'll cover the MC2 stuff. I'm probably going to do like a week or so. I don't know if I'll do it this season, probably next season of Venom, you know, Venom Vlog after the movie comes out. We'll probably go into alternate universes and talk about other universe versions of, you know, Venom and the, the black costume and stuff. So we'll get into all that stuff later. But the uh, April, you know, Parker stuff, the Mayhem figure looks cool. And that's also available at Pop in the Box. So I'll put a link to that down below. Uh, and that's available for pre-order. And I think that'll come out sometime between September and November, somewhere around there. Uh, so yeah, so feel free to pre-order there. And then the third one they announced uh, is Absolute Carnage, which this one I went ahead and pre-ordered on Entertainment Earth. Uh, and like I said, normally I don't pre-order stuff on day one unless I know for sure they're not going to charge me right now and they'll charge me later. And I know Entertainment Earth does do that. I'm not really sure about that on Pop in a Box, so maybe one of you guys can help me out with that if, if they charge you the day you pre-order it or if they wait. I feel like I got charged the day I pre-ordered Carla Unger, but I can't remember, honestly. I, I can't remember. Maybe they charge you once and then release the funds back into your account just so they know they're there and the card works, and then maybe they charge you again you know, later when the, the item comes in. Maybe that's what it is. So, um, But yeah, uh, Absolute Carnage, cool looking thing. You can actually order it just by itself, and I love the tombstones. It has like a Brock tombstone, a Parker tombstone, and I think a, like a Logan tombstone, you know, like there's uh, some cool tombs. I, I would, it would have been cool to throw in some other Easter eggs like Ann Wang's tombstone or something like that, but uh, but yeah, there's it's pretty neat. It has some cool comic references in there, uh, but then yeah, you have, uh, you know, Carnage leering over it. He's got the spiral on his head, and it looks pretty cool. Actually, I thought it looked really, really awesome. And so I was like, all right, I'll pre-order this one with the comic book. So if you get the version, you know, you can get one without the comic, um, you know, through Pop in a Box or Entertainment Earth. Uh, but I'll put a link down below to the one from Entertainment Earth that comes with the comic book. I think after taxes, it'll total to like around 50 bucks. So it's like $40 for the figure in the comic. And then, you know, plus tax, so it's like $50. Our tax and shipping, I guess, is like $50. Uh, but yeah, it looks, it looks really cool. And the comic is like Venom number 27. And it has that pop figure on it as a variant cover. And I saw some people online saying they're going to flip the comic and try to sell it and, you know, make some money off it. 
I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to see what condition it comes in because maybe if it makes sense for me to do a giveaway, maybe we will. We still have Venom number 25, that special cover that I got. Well, I'm trying to figure out something to do, some kind of contest. It'll be for US only, but I'll figure something else out and you know I'll update you guys as soon as I can. But we'll do a giveaway coming up soon for, for that one. Maybe when we hit 2,500 subscribers, uh, which we're 50 away from. So if you guys want to go out there and share you know, the videos with a friend and you know see if there's any Venom friends you have that want to follow the channel, if we get to 2,500 subscribers, maybe we can do that giveaway. It'll be U.S. only, though, because I can't ship it you know, around the world just for financial reasons. Uh, but I can try to ship it out to somebody in the U.S. Uh, for sure. Um, but yeah, and then and if we get that you know, other comic version from the pop figure, either we'll do a giveaway or, you know, depend. we'll see how I am. If financially, if I need help money-wise, uh, I'll sell it. But chances are I should be fine by then. Hopefully, I'll be working my job and uh, hopefully, you know, the world is you know, getting back to normal and, you know, hopefully that'll, you know, and when I say normal, I don't really mean normal. I mean, just to the point where I can have a job and have income coming in. That's what I mean by normal really is, uh, is having some kind of, uh, you know, funds coming in because right now I don't have any, I just used the last of my 401k to pay all my bills and, uh, you know, rent and everything. And, and now I'm out of money. So it's a good thing I have a job now so I can actually you know, keep up with bills moving forward. So, uh, so yeah, but I, I did, I was like, yeah, by November, when this comes out, you know, I'll pre-order now. It's not going to charge me till November. Uh, so by that time I should have the 50 bucks in my account. And if I don't, I'll cancel the order. No big deal. You know, nothing like that. You know, I'm not too worried about that. Um, but if I have the money in there and I can get it, I want it because it looks really cool and it'll go really cool next to my venom with the spiral on his head, uh, for sure. So I'll put links to all those down below. If you guys want to go, uh, you know, pre-order them. And then the last thing that's coming out in November, November 1st, which honestly, if I can only choose between the fun Go pop or this i'll probably pick this actually uh this is from hasbro it is toxin it is basically the size of a build-a-figure uh hasbro's been putting out a lot of these pre-orders re uh, recently for like apocalypse which i definitely want to get to uh, i'm basically hoping for another stimulus check because if so then i can spend like you know, $200 on pre-ordering a bunch of figures and then the rest can go to, to bills and stuff. And that way I know for the rest of the year, I have some cool stuff coming in that we can talk about here on the channel. So I'm, I'm really hoping for that, uh, really. But, uh, but yeah, so these figures, you know, there's like Apocalypse, there's Kingpin, there's all these big like uh, War Machine, I think they're making $30 cool figures that come with either regular size figures with a bunch of accessories or deluxe size build of figures for 30 bucks. And we had the Venom one come out recently, you know, where it was like the Eddie Brock version of the build a figure, which I still haven't gotten yet. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if I want to. I got a I got plenty of Eddie Brock, you know, figures. Um, so maybe I'll just wait and get this Toxin figure because he looks awesome, man. I mean, this is a really cool version and I don't own any Toxin figures, any previous versions. So this is actually a really cool version. I really hope to get it. I love all the little heads and the arms and little things coming out of his neck and stuff. It, it's pretty cool. It looks like a lot like the, you know, the drawings from the miniseries that came out, um, you know, back when uh, Toxin first got his first miniseries where he fought the dude with the, the blade arms and stuff, like the, the knife arms. Uh, so yeah, it, it looks cool. It's a cool looking figure. And for 30 bucks that's not too bad actually so i wanted to bring all this to you guys attention i'm sure a lot of you already know about it but in case you didn't i'll put links down below to where you can if you're a funko pop collector you can get the carla unger you know carnage you can get the april parker mayhem figure um you can get the absolute carnage figure with or without the comic and uh, you know i'll put a link i'll try to put a link to both of those down below i'll, I'll probably just do the one with the comic because i think that's a cooler one you get the comic book with it um but you know for those of you who you know are on a budget too you know i'll try to find the link to the regular one without the comic i think you can find that on pop in a box and um, probably and entertainment earth as well so i'll try to put both of those down below and of course the hasbro pulse i'll put a link to the venom figure that's i think currently out now and i'll put a link to the, the you know this toxin figure just in case you want to get either one of those so let me know what you think of these figures uh, you know i'm very excited and I, you know obviously we have san diego comic-con at home coming up soon and even though it's not going to be the same as comic-con it's not going to have as many events or as many panels or as many stuff you know i'm hoping all these companies still do their reveals because normally they still line stuff up with the press and they get images out there and stuff like that and now that i'm on the press list i would love to hear from hasbro you know or, or funko about any other venom or you know uh, toys coming out or, or your funko pops coming out i would love to hear that from either company or, or other companies that are doing stuff um, and i'll try to keep an eye i think there's a san diego comic-con exclusive iron man and uh, spider-man and i think they're going to be um like it, you know, i don't know if they're i think they're sold together for 30 bucks and so i'll try to put that image up on screen too i think that's a comic-con exclusive they're from Maximum Venom, the cartoon series, and there will be other versions of those coming out later, but these ones are like, I don't know if they're metallic or if they have a certain paint job on them that make them, you know, exclusive to Comic-Con. 
but it's kind of like a precursor to these other figures that are going to be coming out in January of next year of 2021. So yeah, it's a long time away, uh, but we still got three episodes of, uh, you know, Maximum Venom left. And I don't think we're getting one this month. I think we're going to skip July and might go to August. So August, September, October, that brings you almost into the fall anyway. So if they still release merchandise around that time, kind of makes sense. And maybe they'll put out a cool DVD with all six of these Maxim Venom episodes on uh, DVD Blu-ray. Uh, that would be awesome to have that as well. So let me know what you guys think of these figures down below, you know, in the comments. I'd love to hear which one you're wanting to get, which one you'd like to see, like what Funko Pop characters would you like to see? I know a lot of us would love to see uh, from Hasbro a, a Riot figure or, you know, like an Agony figure. Like we haven't made some of these, you know, Life Foundation figures haven't got their, you know, time in the sun yet. I saw some people saying they want a Scorn figure and an Andy Benton figure you know like when she was like venom um or um, i think she what was she called was she called mayhem too i can't remember i i haven't read i haven't got into the colin bun stuff yet so i'm, I'm kind of blanking right now but uh yeah so correct me down below i got a lot on my mind today so thank you very much let me know what your thoughts are on all these down below and we'll continue our conversation as always down there thanks for watching the show like share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you all in the future peace